if you are confident in your chess skills or even willing to test it out, then you better solve this chess puzzle. We're with the white pieces, and we notice these three pawns that are about to promote. We're with white, and we're about to promote a8. But black has two pawns that are about to promote. So how can we win this? Well, if we, if we promote straight away, then black can make a queen on h1 with check, and the only move for our king is to g3, and it's simply checkmate. So we can't promote on a8. So you notice the problem is this queen going to h1. By the way, pause the video if you think you can solve this puzzle. But I'm confident that 99.9% .9 of you cannot solve this puzzle. So I'm going to go ahead and explain it. The problem is this queen promoting on h1. So we have to make some a li little bit of waiting moves, some preparation moves. Not every move is going to be a check. The puzzle does end in checkmate for the white pieces. So we have to stop this queen promotion on h1. How do we do that? With bishop f3. It's a very tough move to find. It's just, you, you just never think of this. You just allow black to make the queen on a1. Like, why would you do that? Well, it's because now you shouldn't be scared. Yes, there are no checks. Yes, there are no really more waiting moves. But you can indeed promote to a queen. Because if black takes your queen, you can simply go rookie one check and you will pick up your queen, be a bishop up, and be completely winning. So, after a1 queen, you make a queen. They cannot take. So now black has no checks. They are down a rook and a bishop. So their only logical move is, of course, to promote to a queen on h1 with check. And if you go here, it's checkmate. So, of course, you must take the queen. If the king takes, then you notice this queen sees this king only blocked by a rook. So rookie one would simply be game over. So they'll take your queen. You have to, of course, go rookie one. It's a check, and now you're protecting the bishop. That's the difference between rook g4 and rook e1. If you want rook g4, the king could take this bishop. So you go rook e1, because now you're x-raying this bishop. But it's not game over. It's game over if the king go goes to f2, because then you're just going to pick up this queen. But black has a sneaky stalemate trick with king h2. You cannot take this queen because guess what? It's stalemate. The king prevents, the white king prevents the black king from going to g3 or h3. The bishop covers the rest of the diagonal. And this rook covers this g1 square. So, that's a very nice trick by black. But, you don't accept a draw. You're still winning. If this bishop is anywhere along this diagonal, any one of these squares, rook h1 will just be checkmate won't it yes so that's 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 the first step in looking for the next move then you notice queen a4 check seems a bit annoying it's happens to be nearly checkmate and this bishop has to be protected by the rook otherwise the queen is just going to gobble it so upon those conditions those limitations you find that the only move that works is bishop e4 no queen a4 checks are possible this rook protects the bishop and rook h1 check is practically unstoppable because this king has no squares to go. So you think, it's all over, right? Black has no moves. I've won. Not yet. Because black has one more sneaky stalemate trick. Queen a1. If you hurry and take this queen, once again, it is checkmate. I mean, not checkmate. Stalemate. It's stalemate. So you do not take the queen. Do you accept the draw offer? No. Because you notice that this queen is preventing this rook h1 checkmate. But only because it's on the first rank. If you get this queen off this first rank, there will be a rook h1 checkmate. And there's no way to stop that. So what is the only way to get this queen out of this first rank? If you found it, good job. It's rook b1. It's very, very tough move to find. It's... It's just not a move that 
like strikes you as like obvious. So the Black Queen is forced to move somewhere like A3 and Rook H1 is checkmate. If you solve this puzzle, you are extremely good at chess.